lab that was rumored to exist. How about living under a rock? You might remember they were talking about it way back when we were exploring hey, Sector 7. Oh, I recall. Stay right mm -hmm. Jesus, fuck. This place because it's an RPG, all legends are real, so we get to explore it. Yay. New area, what? say what? Where? How the fuck did he get it all the way down here before he died? Rip Barrett. Well, I hope you're ready to play as this big fella. Barrett is the only party member for a few minutes. Well, shit. Every character gets a little bit of time where they're the character you play as. So here's Barrett's turn. They saved Tifa for a real long time. <laughs> Oh, so is Barrett the only one that no actually has the ability people. to destroy shit? Because that's kind of funny. He is considered a heavy, so yeah. And he has his own bench animation. That's a nice Which I hill. appreciate. Yeah, they could have just faded to black or oh, something. Oh, who's here? I'm here. My computer oh. went fucky again. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's starting to do it more often. I think you might need a new computer. Take I don't have money for that. Well. Ha! Joke's on you, what idiot! Secret Hope you don't mind if I fill you for the holes. Yeah, between maximum oh fury God. and uh Oh by the way you can shoot. Yeah, you can shoot all those crates. And they all have to give you just Yeah. <laughs> La -de -da -de -da -de -da, just clean in house. <laughs> you know, since it's not gonna be used by anybody else. Where does he keep all these shells? Up his ass. Yeah, you know what? Fair. I really love when you crawl back down in here for a side quest later. Uh, they're like, Barrett, did you shoot your way all the way out of here? Yeah, why? <laughs> 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 oh man, that was great. Ooh, ability learns. How did I learn that okay. already? Oh, yeah. Big Bertha is also my favorite weapon for Barrett stats wise, so. Yeah. I used that one a lot until I got the new, the new one I got for him. Man, I'm really just stocking up, aren't I? Yeah. I mean, oh, it's yeah. satisfying, but like, it, there's a large urge to be like, oh, but I, what if I missed a box? What if you get an achievement for getting every box? Man. That would really mess with my CDO. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even have to use the, the ability, I just used overcharge. Yeah, the enemy's been full of sexual intelligence. What? Say again, Danny. I said the enemies in this little section is a joke. Am, yeah. I, am I waving her out? So yeah, the one over here is progression. The other one leads to an item. Item it is. Item time, item time. Man, he really needs to invest in like a rocket launcher, doesn't he? Thank God he has unlimited ammo. Yeah, otherwise. Uh. Ooh. That. There's some crates. Oh, there are crates up there. Baha! Okay, oh, there was a single item. item. My hey, inner Zelda fan is satisfied. I don't recall Zelda shooting crates. But they do smash bombs. Yeah. Smashing pots is what I'm referencing. Can you scare me? Only when Link there? smashes pots with a Gatling gun. Oh, yeah, you know, that was part of the that DLC. Was cool. I mean, we had a motorbike in that uh, one DLC for quite some while. I don't see why a Gatling gun would work. Alright. These are like the only enemies that actually put up a fight. 
one of the funniest freaking jokes that ever came from Hyrule War, uh, from Breath of the Wild is actually an Age of Calamity. So in Age of Calamity, Zelda just decides she wants the motorcycle and, like, forces Link to give it to her. That's funny. And she can, like, barely control it. It is one of her weapon types. This wildly driving motorbike across the battlefield. Oh, nice. That is. Damn, man. Yeah, once you know, I don't know if it's if it's a glitch or a mechanic, but once you know about that th trick with Barrett, like you can decimate enemies. That really is just the murder button, isn't it? I actually do prefer to have Barrett on my team over Aerith, and that 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 little hey, trick is part of it. You'd think they dug halfway to hell. Um, is that beetle supposed to be an opponent? Probably. Oh, there it is. You really wanna You had to get closer before you could back away to shoot. Ain't got nothing on me. It's kind of unfortunate there's no like out of battle sneak up on enemies and attack them mechanic in this game. That'd be neat. <laughs> That'd be neat. That, that's the side quest for later You're roaring at down. you. One way or another. Yep. Ah! I am intrigued. Yeah. It's one of my two favorite side quests. God, if I end up getting a lot more ATB. Because. Yeah, this thing is a monster. You can see what you can do. Yeah. Wait, is, is there actually a materia to like split your ATB gauge into a bunch of smaller ones? Uh, that would be the refocus. You do have to give up a limit limit break bar for it, though. Refocus. That's the bottom. So refocus. See, I'd rather just do the damage limit break and keep dealing with two. <laughs> but the thing is, it does split into three bars, and since they're smaller bars, it goes you recharge a lot faster. So I, there's a give or take. Sure. But you, you don't get it till you get a limit, and by the time yeah. you get a limit, I'd rather have the damage. <laughs> Oh, that's fair. Just depends on what you're feeling like. I mean, of course, obviously you can only use it once for battle. Yeah. I'm sure, and I'm sure it wears Otherwise, it'd be so, it'd be so broken to get like six ATB bars or something. <laughs> Just three maximum furies back to back. I mean, I can only think of one fight in the game long enough to get a limit twice for it, and that would be Sephiroth. Yeah. Man, that's gonna be a... that's gonna be a marathon. Okay, is this the progression oh, way, or the more items way? I think uh, this is the progression way. Shit. Progression way. Can't have that. It's okay. Right to ten. I'm ready for aggression. No, I'm not. Like, when in doubt, just turn on... Just go into your maps. Oh, Andrew, uh, Danny and I discovered an interesting fact before the stream started, by the way. What's that? So, this is actually stream number seven of FF7 Remake, which depicts the fall of the Plate 7 onto Sector 7. Yep. You know what's even funnier? The exact same thing was Episode 7 of my original FF7 playthrough. You know what else? It's March 7th. Son of a bitch! Oh my god! Son of a bitch! Oh my god! I didn't even do that on purpose! <laughs> seven, seven, seven. There are so many sevens going on here. The, yeah, the name of this part is so many sevens, isn't it? Oh my god. No, we should have named this to all sevens. Oops, all like, sevens. Oops, all sevens. Oh my god, Nomura would be so proud Wait, of you. Couldn't we Kevin. just call it 7th Heaven? <laughs> no, no, no. Nomura would be proud of him if it was all 13s. No, well, he likes 7s too, just not as much as the 13s. Yeah. Ain't got nothing on me. Okay, what are the odds of breaking the fans, letting the side quest for later just suffocate down here? <laughs> you wish. Oh, you wait long enough and it suffocates. 
and you just get I mean, I don't wish because it's a really fun fight. You get it a, is a fun crap fight. ton of EXP for no reason. You're like, oh, what happened there? There, went oh. up two levels. Man, I can't believe we accidentally suffocated the combat. I mean... What? What? Who said that? I mean, it's clearly a cat. Oh. Obviously. You really want to throw down with me? Barry, use murder! I, I know, Cam. It looks like you're having a lot of fun playing with Barry. Really enjoy burning it all down. Barry's pretty cool. That part where, <laughs> part where a remake just becomes a, a third person shooter. What is it? It still does better than uh, freaking Surge of Surgers. <laughs> I mean, I'm half surprised we haven't gotten a Barrett game like Dirge of Cerberus, but good. I think the only reason we did it is because they're like, hey, we need to justify having Vincent in. <laughs> so, especially if people didn't chose not to go get him. Which is kind of crazy. We could have had Barrett and Vincent in a game together and done it, and then it wouldn't have been only Vincent. But only True. Vincent. That would have been cool, though. Like, that actually would have been pretty cool to pull like, up. Uh, Oh, any, anytime I have played a shooter, oh, like, rapid fire weapons have always been the kind that I like the most. I mean, the interesting thing is that given that Vincent, like, had, Vincent's wife ended up being like yeah. connected to Hojo and even Sephiroth, is like, you would think Vincent would have a bigger Sorry. role to, into all this. But yeah, Vincent, Vincent's wife was Sephiroth's surrogate mother. Uh. So, in other words, Sephiroth is fun. And Hojo's the father. Oh, no, yeah, true. That, yeah. Which is really creepy when you think of it that way. Man, and Hojo. I, I have a feeling that she didn't really want to be oh, Sephiroth's surrogate, so, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hojo. It's a good thing you're a villain, because you're very problematic. <laughs> you can cancel them in a moment. Cancel him on Twitter. Oh no. I can't afford to be cancelled on social media, Link! <laughs> oh man. How to stop a villain? One, cancel him on Twitter. One fan's progression, the other two are items. Yep. But I always forget which one's progression. The middle. Okay, so the middle is progression. So let's do everything but that. This is a JRPG stream. We're not expected to actually make progression into a story, are we? I know, right? Or who, to understand to... the plot or anything like that. Man, why do we need a speed run? We're here for the stuff, damn it. Man. Like the Mako Star and the Moogle Metal. Yeah, I've got a frick ton of Moogle Metals just in this area. Yeah. Which is good because we go back to, to ask, but did you just Plaza Moogle to get some right. stuff yeah. for you guys. Well, yeah. yeah. Why is she afraid to ask? The man's literally got a gun for an arm. Did she think he asked nicely to be let in? I'm missing. Man, I can imagine right now. Excuse me, Shinro, can you please let me in? Why, sure. Oh shit, we accidentally let him in. Why do we always fall for that? <laughs> Can you pretty please? Oh sure! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that's like... Let me in so I can kick your ass! No! Please let me in so I can kick your ass! Oh, okay, sure! Oh no! Why did I fall for that? Sure, that's how that works. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, these are supposed to keep something in, not keep something out, so... Okay, you know what? Fair. Those some things didn't have a Gatling gun arm. That is also true. That is also true, yeah. You're right. You're right. Modern problems require modern solutions! <laughs> I have no idea what you said. You peaked so bad. <laughs> modern, modern problems require modern solutions. Burr. This is correct. Is that right? That, that is exactly right. what I said. I thought maybe you said burn or something. I was like, what? No, burr, as in. Because I, I heard it like a burr. Burr. I literally yeah. heard just, uh, and then you cut out. Yeah, you get kind of peaked a little bit. 
Unfortunately, Danny speaks peaked, apparently. Yeah. Oh, tat, 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 tat. Tat, tat, tat. This is very sad. My rat of tat, tat is in the top percentage of for tat, tat, tat. God damn it. Youngster Joey over here. <laughs> Youngster Joey talking about his Gatlin gun. <laughs> Well, I was I will say that trainer did not see that one coming. Let's see. And for his next Pokemon, Joey used gun. For his neutral special, Joey wields oh God, gun. Another damn Pokemon back. gun. Pokemon gun. Oh god, I remember. That when third version that was... of Pokemon Sword and Shield we're still waiting for. Oh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's a Pokemon Star. Yeah, from what I heard, uh Nintendo's kind of trying to sweep Pokemon uh, Gen 8 under the rug a little bit. Most likely. Uh, possibly. I, I don't blame him. Gen 8 got an awful lot of hate. I still do a lot of their stuff, to be fair. To be I mean, but the new Pokemon though. game is the first one I've seen in a while. It's gotten almost universally, universally played, and I'm going to be honest, having played some of it, it's alright. But it's also not like anything here, the best thing I've ever played. <laughs> but it is different compared to like. It's one of the best. It's probably one of, if not the best Pokemon thing I've ever played. We're talking about Legends Arceus, by the way, if anyone is oblivious. Yeah, I've been playing it a little bit. Cam let me borrow his copy, and I I like it enough, but like. Yeah, because I'm not even sure if I'm gonna beat it, to be honest. <laughs> Understandably, Andrew didn't want to spend sixty dollars on something he wasn't sure he'd like, which absolutely fair. Yeah, I, like, no, I don't know. I, yeah. If the, if Nintendo ever sold that for forty dollars, I'd probably pick ah! it up and own it. But Nintendo's never gonna do that. Yeah. Like I love the big end. They don't like but... making money from people who only kind of want their games, as opposed to really, really want them. I mean, Atlas doesn't like making money either. Well, Atlas games go on sale, they just don't put them on all the consoles you want. Oh, look now, it's about to get ripped. Yeah. Like, I saw, like, someone did a no meme was like, sale. like, hey, it's like, I asked for one measly Persona 5 port to one console. Everyone thinks I'm, I'm, you know, console, but oh, uh, port oh begging. Oh my god, yeah. But then someone wants FES with full, like, remodel coxie, uh, remodel models with the MC route, FES, and the answer, and they all cheered for me. How does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah, I feel like both. Yeah, so essentially, oh, it's oh. a reference to the Multiverse of Madness boss, trailer. Where Wanda decides that when you break the rules, you're a hero. When I break the rules, everyone hates me. That's not very fair. Even though she took an entire town hostage so she can roleplay sitcoms. To be yeah, fair, she's, def she's definitely the villain in that, even though she didn't I mean, exactly stop. mean for that to happen. But also, Strange did found I mean, destroyed the multiverse with his tampering with Peter Park, with, you know, back in the way home, so. I mean, the... he's not clean as well. Oh, no, definitely not. But, like, a huge part of that is even in Wanda's show, no one ever, like, called her out for being a villain. That's a win. Like, one yeah, of I'm the I'm still other... so annoyed that they, that the, I waited so long for them to have a wrap up to them revealing that Peter Parker was Spider Man, and then they solved it by messing with the timeline. Fuck you, I want a linear solution, damn it. Eh. Like, I, I, I tolerated the timeline crap in, uh. Endgame? End game, but like I don't want them to keep doing it, and they keep doing it. Well, they didn't <laughs> mess with Star Trek. They didn't mess with the timeline in no way. Home. And they reset the didn't they reset the timeline so no, that no, no they didn't re knew. they no. didn't mess no, with the spell, timeline. They messed it with people's it memories. Um, yeah, close enough. Really it's really not. Guess. It's not exactly the same, no, but not. it sort of gives me the same annoyance I of mean, we're I, setting I, things back to square one. We I gotta start it. over it, with these relationships. Well, because there's it, in the it, comics as well. I mean, yeah, I don't read the comics, the way, but I have a feeling I would have disliked it in the comics as well. So did most well, Spider-Man fans. not like comics, but it happens a lot down If people there. don't like it in the comics, then why are we doing it again That's in the so movies? Bad. Because it's a cheap and easy solution to plot holes they make. Hmm. Gotta stay on my toes if I'm gonna make it. I mean, unless you want to like, There were so many interesting yet. things they could have done. I was hoping for a movie where Spider-Man cleared his name. 
Like, I thought that would be cool if he had to hide from everyone while trying to clear his name. Well, they kind of did. Ish. Not I mean, really. Probably, not much. That was not the conclusion to the Spider-Man MCU movies I wanted. Not even close. I am... I am very upset. That's fair. I, I personally... As evidenced by the fact it. that I didn't watch the movie. I don't know. I I mean your 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 feelings are justified though. Like I they finally it. they finally had a Spider-Man movie, a, a pair of Spider-Man movies I really really liked and Where? they cut it up. Uh, I guess. Where the hell did Cloud Silk off to? Somewhere. Cause like. You sure? Mm -hmm. Um. He sure yeah, does. Um, Wedge is alive. What? I kicked your ass if you didn't look like shit. What? Did did he? Apparently crawl? the ground collapsed under his feet and he fell in here. Thank you. And he survived platefall because of it. Okay, let's go. Uh, we still don't know where Cloud is. I'm not really sure what Wedge living could potentially mean because he didn't really Do amount to much of anything at any point in time ever, so... What is this? Barret! We just hear a lot of loud screeching and all of a sudden it cuts to Cloud like fighting the boss or something. Um. New enemy uh, type. Uh, new enemy also, type. this music is very Final Fantasy 13. It is. These look like something out of 13. Like slightly yeah, more yeah. organic than tech, but still. Well, these things are weird. Have, uh, research facility. Oh, and you don't have pubs, so you can't assess them. <laughs> I believe they're weak to fire. I'm not sure they might be. They're weak to bullets! I always forget to bring assess in here. There is a second chance to assess uh, the small guys, but uh, there is a big one that will show up later that only shows up here. Yeah, the answer is they're weak to bullets. Well, that is definitely weak. Ah, bullets. My only weakness. My one many weaknesses. They're also weak to glitter. I do like the sequence though. It's kind of out of nowhere, but it's cool. Big lift alien thing moment. Yeah. Is my feeling is that the blood add a little more to like the lore and. One of the shadier stuff that Shinra does. None of these things don't fit in the lore, it's just there was no real build up to these at all. They have well, no. ranged attacks. Especially compared to like how they did the, uh, the ghost train. You know, the, the train graveyard. But... Like, it's probably like, oh, okay, it's been a while since we have a big action sequence, so we gotta put something here. I mean, Train Graveyard had several big action sequences. No, I know, but I meant for, like, this part right here. Because otherwise, like, it wasn't really, like, anything difficult. They're like, shit, we're running out of action sequences. This is we, need, we need, like, a tough thing to book in this set chapter with. And this has very zombie horde vibe here, which is kind of cool to be doing. Yeah. It's uh -oh. the big one! Hasn't we have just done that in the first place then? <laughs> Holy mother of- Oh, that's a big one. Jesus frick! <laughs> like, one star shower would probably take out all of those guys. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're friends. 
Oh no, because I oh, was literally yeeting the others. Yeah. Uh, do I have to actually fight it? Yeah, you yep. can fight it from up here. That's too far. A failed experiment. Question is, an experiment to what? <laughs> the ultimate life form. God damn shadow. It's the ultimate. This is the ultimate. This is the ultimate power. It's weak to gun. Oh, maximum fury to the fish. Oh, Barrett's still shooting it in the cutscene. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ah. We got that kill. Ah. Nice. Maximum fury time again. Oh boy, would you look at the time. Ow, ow, ow. Ouchie, ouch. Ouchie, ouch. Kind of like if you try to kill the little guys, they'll respawn. But if you don't, you should not put any attention to them. They can get in your way a lot. Yeah. So, sounds like it's a good time to just hit everything in the area. They always do be a good time. Indeed. Ooh, nice. You might want to heal Barret too. Oh, I know. I will say that if you can get him staggered, then use a maximum fury. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Maximum fury will pressure an opponent, but it won't really increase the stagger bar. Focus shot will uh, do a lot more to an enemy that's pressure. Oh shit! Hey, put him down! Oh, put him down! Yeah, switch to Terra. Switch to Terra. Switch Terra. to Tifa. My God! <laughs> you can tell that I've had a long day at work. <laughs> Sounds like it. I have roads. I have the best roads. <laughs> Bang, bang! <laughs> Come on! Ooh. Nice. Keep a waste. The ultimate weapon. The ultimate power. Where the fuck were you, bitch? Cloud oh, stealing our kill. <laughs> Kill stealer! To the party and you giving me orders? <laughs> oh! You can just do that on command, huh, Barrett? Well, so you, oh, yeah. just right now. Hell yeah. So how'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. Yeah, fair. There's no way to kind of mess. <laughs> Did, did that work? You might need to shoot a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. No, I forgot about this. Um. <laughs> oh god. Were those. So, yeah. All those things you killed. They used to be people. Were these failed Sephiroth yeah. clones? That's the Shinrai. Something like that. Of sorts. They're at least some sort of human monster hybrid or something. 
Vod's having flashbacks to when he was in one of those tubes to be a Sephiroth clone. At the very least, it was some kind of program similar enough. The um, bot goes to say no more thinking about that. You're not supposed to figure that out yet. But God damn it, we can't just leave you alone for like five minutes. Fucking deviating from the story. I think they're a worse villain than Shinra. <laughs> Because they're like controlling people's free will, and I can't abide by that. Well, it's a whole. Oh no, they're not controlling that, so. people's free will. They're just stopping them from exercising their will. They're keeping fate in line, regardless of what your will is. Can we kill them? We need to. You can still have the desire to do something against fate. They just won't let you do it. Let's go. I want to kill them. Man, can we have an act of playing games that feature some sort of? Going against somebody as well. Well, I feel like that's just sort of an RPG trope. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the cat's like, help. Kitty. Kitty, kitty. The... Good kitty. <laughs> Got it. All he, right. he actually survived that. That's freaking wild. Oh, I forgot you're still playing as Barrett while you're holding Wedge. That's... I was not expecting him to survive. I mean, he makes the most sense out of the other three. I mean, other, you know, from other three. Yeah, he was the only one that was down here. They could still be alive. Uh... They were on the pillar. I mean, it... Close to Wedge, who was down here. Both at the pillar. It's... Not Vince. impossible so, that they survived. Like that they were hurt. Or at the very least, I mean, we did see them both die, like straight up. Don't. Mm -hmm. Unlike Wedge, where there was like a fade to black, so that's actually fair. They have returned to the planet. I don't know why, but the face that Wedge's cat was making made me think that it was like a Kate Sith for they, a second. They were supposed to return <laughs> to us. God, wouldn't that be weird? Yeah. <sighs> but if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. So, we carry that weight. Subtle, Barrett. <laughs> I mean, when he picked him, he said, Yeah, that's you, all right. So, like, the fir his first reaction was to make a fat joke at Wedge's expense. That ain't, that ain't right. Frickin' Chadley. I still want to punt him. Fairy red hair and sardonic grin. Yep, that's that's Axel. Yeah, it's actually time to end the stream. This is actually a fi well, a fitting time too, because as soon as I get control, it's gonna be free side quest hell. Yeah, Again. side quest time begins. <laughs> You're, this is where you get her permission to go after That's Aerith, and then you go, but first we should get we things no settled here, go, then man. save Aerith. I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. Well, good, because there's a lot of wounded people out there. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never going to let Aerith go. I She's mean, the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Don't we have a walking, talking Especially human experiment son right here? Son of a bitch, right here? Son of yeah. A bitch. yeah, but he doesn't know but, it yet. Well, no, I mean, not the Sephiroth clone thing. I mean, the soldier thing. Please. Okay, true. 
I need some time to think. Well, the soul is it. Does it count as an we experiment if it's already day. been done a number of times and they Why already know the account? Isn't that just some rest. a medical uh, operation? By this that is point, a procedure. Yeah. It's still an insane medical operation that mutates the human genome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he about to sneak away again? No. There's a little moment. Yeah, this is where you find out which character you got the most points with. Oh, so it could so, be a different character in this one? Yeah. It can be one of three characters. It can be Tifa, it can be Aerith, or it can be Barrett. If it's Aerith, it's considered a dream. If it's the other two, I think it's considered just That's a interesting. Hard I thought it was specifically. Interesting. I saw a clip of the Barrett version on uh, YouTube once. I've never I seen the Aerith version. Yeah, I need to see those two then, because... Uh... Well, I guess we could guess which one this one is. Yeah. What a twist. I would be shocked if it wasn't Tifa, to be honest. Yeah. Because I got Tifa, too. But I, I assume this was... Because this makes the most sense. Especially since we saw Barrett sleeping. <laughs> so unless he, like, went up to the roof, jumped out, and came over here while we were <laughs> walking down the steps. Can't sleep. No. You too? I heard footsteps. Also, uh, uh, Cloud T. is Sorry. about to be eaten right here. To wake you. I'm a light sleeper. Isn't that just the summary the of Final thing. Fantasy VII? Cloudy fans <laughs> eaten? That, I mean, that again, it depends on how you play it. That was from Eric, wasn't it? Oh. If you make Tiva hate you enough, you don't, then the, uh, the infamous scene at the end of uh, going on. under the high wind, like it's flowers. it's different. <laughs> like it still it happens, kinda. Reunion, <laughs> believe it or not, I was curious. Probably more so of a this happened. is probably our last day I on Earth thing, thing as long as than a finally but moment, now, right? I guess maybe. Buried. If that makes any sense at all, I don't exactly want to elaborate. Well, put it this way: that. if you don't make Tifa like, like you ball. enough, when they mention they were watching you under the high wind, she doesn't get embarrassed. Ah. And everything else. Yeah, because Chick looked traumatized at the thought of them being noticed so, underneath the high wind. I think the idea is that Cloud only gets some if he makes her like like him enough. I'm like ninety percent sure that's how that actually works. So yeah. He took everything mm. from I mean, makes sense. Checks out. Oh my god, he looks so awkward. He's like, should, should I hug her? Should I? What? What? What do? Girl! What do? Girl! 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 girl. <laughs> this is really emotional, but Cloud's face. He's just. Um, Isn't it a hug, dude? Good man. He's like, am, am I doing this right? Sh should I be hugging her? He's like filled with a ridiculous amount of doubt about what do. Man, I love how the that in, one inside out clip summarizes Cloud so perfectly <laughs> in so many moments. Cloud, you're hurting me. Um, <sighs> sorry, that's a little too tight. I mean, yeah. That's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. It's really easy it's to forget true. that Cloud's super strong, but it's a lot harder to forget that Tifa's super strong, and I don't know why, you. necessarily. Because, like, I don't in, know. in a she hug the kicking and punching two, more often. I, you like, would often imagine the scenario would be the other way around. She squeezes Cloud too anything, tight and, like, makes him cough up a out. lung. Happy to help <laughs> out however I can. Elmira. Tifa's stronger than your average human. I've been Cloud is like you said. super soldier, soldier strength. She's calling out to me. It's like comparing freaking it. Iron Fist and Captain America. We all can. Marvel fans don't at me. So please. I don't really know anything She's about Iron friend. Fist, so I can't have really to help her. relate to this part of the conversation. 
It's not necessarily dissimilar to Tifa. It's just a super strength martial art I thing. I always knew it was coming. I say Maybe just. Day, it is not nearly that simple because, ago. you know, Marvel. But not yet. <laughs> All I know about him Please, is one of his fists bring her glowing. Back to me. It, Only one. It do be glowing. Yes, that is correct. I was always like, but why not both? <laughs> Marlene. Are you going? My brain still instinctively thinks that Marlene is little Tifa. Until Advent Children, where she I'm becomes sorry, little Aerith. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? She did the freaking headcock thing. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect. Do you think Marley never asked about why his hand is a gun? She probably Not had some sure. part. Cause like I can imagine Barrett trying really hard, like uh, to try to explain to her why she shouldn't out. play with his metal arm. You remember that I feel like you'd just be like Barrett that Dixie has stopped if she ever asked. Her. <laughs> and when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kinda <sighs> What? Nothing. Oh yeah, this is the part in the game where in the original she would call you stupid if you said something to the effect of Aerith and you are just friends. Oh yeah, she did. What What did you, you see, back. little bean? Right? Of course, a promise. It's possible the live stream like resonated between her and Aerith, right? So like yeah. they both felt that pulse. Possibly. I mean, Marlene definitely felt it. I think Aerith maybe felt it, because Aerith didn't react as much, so either she caused it, or only Marlene felt it, and I'm not sure which. Or maybe she she felt it, but, she, you know, try not to yeah. freaking little girl out, try, you know, try not to show that it. Too. She's tougher than me. Oh, are we... Barrett puts the sunglasses right. back on, because Time if you see his eyes, back. we'll know that he's not as heartless as Don't he wants you to think we're doing this. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, to rescue Aerith. I, I mean, I suppose. Honestly, I'm in it for the gill, but, you know, I guess we could save Yo, Materia! So, Gotta go to save the town site? drunk. After if these side quests. Happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high Pedometer material? What? You get something extra if you walk 5,000 steps with it. Yeah, what? So, I hear that if you equip it right now, by the time you're done with all the side quests, it'll be done. But I just sort of turned my controller so that it was Cloud was always running in a circle and walked away. <laughs> I I'm intrigued about this. Why does this materia exist? Did you get a new material after that? Yeah, you get a new material out of it if you do the, let it go through. Oh, uh, so Tifa is just X-23 now. Good for her. Yep. That's a really good magic uh, gauntlet oh, there. You know what X-23 is? X-23 is Wolverine's female clone. She has uh, three claws instead of Wolverine's four. Okay. No, no, no. Did I mix that up? I thought Wolverine had four, and she's got three. Wolverine, Wolverine has, have three? No, Wolverine, Wolverine always has three claws. Uh, X-23 has three, but she has two on her hands, each on her hands, and then one each on her feet, by her feet. Oh, yeah, she has two... Instead of the three on each hand, and then she's got one that, like, can come out of her toes. Chick's weird. I promise it's not as weird as it sounds. It's kind of as weird as it sounds. Shut up. X-Men was like never it. really, like, my thing, so I am just that... out, very out of the loop. That's fair. Fixed chance Tifa may enter a battle with an increased chi level. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Honestly, I sort of wish that X-Men could just be part of the MCU because I feel like a, um, an MCU adaption of it would be good. And it would also be a way to leave room to wrap up some of the other characters' parts. I mean, that's part of why people were so salty about WandaVision. What do you mean? Uh, one of the characters in WandaVision 
uh, the Quicksilver guy was Quicksilver in X-Men, but he wasn't actually Quicksilver. He was just a random dude, and it was just a huge coincidence that it happened to be the same actor. All for about, well, for a name, for basically a, yeah. a big joke. Yeah, all for a joke because his last name is Boner. Okay. That That's what they did with that. That's uh, what they did didn't... with getting the same actor as the Quicksilver from... I didn't really see any of the arguments about WandaVision because I didn't watch it until months after everyone else did. Fair. Uh, I mean, which is why everyone's excited that Professor X is, appear- is appearing in Multiverse of Madness. So, is it confirmed so like, that he's that he's Professor X? Yeah, he finally confirmed it because even though he tried to play it off, even though like we clearly hear his voice in the trailer. No, no. So. That he's in there isn't a question, but is he Professor X or is he a different character? I assume as Professor X. That's what I we mean, assumed what else? about X Men Quicksilver being in WandaVision. This might just be another bonus joke. No, that no, they wouldn't pull the same joke twice. Yes, they would. It's the MCU. How many times have they made the same joke? Are you talking about Sir Patrick Stewart. We're talking about Sir Patrick Stewart. Trans yes. that have probably been locked down by now. Uh, so I would, I would man, sort man. of like to see him play a new character more than see him as the X Men guy again. The thing is, everybody wants the X Men to appear in the MCU. So yeah, I want the X Men to appear in the MCU, but I don't want those X Men to appear because I didn't like those X Men. The original well, X Men movies, I I did not like any of them. <laughs> Honestly, they could go a number of ways, but the real interesting thing is, in order to introduce the mutants, they'd have to introduce people born with superpowers, and they've kind of established that's not a thing here. I sort of thought they could. I don't know. Now that superheroes are becoming more and more common, just the cork, just of, a cork of humanity, it starts happening now. Yeah, but then we'd still need like 15 to 18 years for them to be old enough to have their own spin off movie. Well, exactly. They wouldn't have their own spin off movie. It would start off as they were, they're a new emerging group. And so we'd see some of the people who were young starting to happen like uh, i would say so first class maybe, maybe it would have started sometime after the snap and so now it's been 15 years after the snap or something I and mean, that's where we're starting off there's also the fact that you'd have to take into account the fact that uh they'd have to either make their own characters or completely alter people's histories because like yeah magneto one, would yeah, not that's... work anymore I, I know the thing with Magneto because he was a Holocaust survivor in an original yeah. thing. But here's the thing. Eventually, Magneto will not work in a contemporary setting anyway because it's becoming increasingly unlikely that a Holocaust survivor would still be alive. Precisely. It just is. It's a, it's a really long time ago. So sooner or later, they're going to have to write a new backstory or retire the character anyway. That's a fair point. We know he does have a point there. Mm-hmm. Wait, holy shit. We went through three chapters? Yes. Yep. Now you're in side quest hell. Okay, um, we'll do side quest hell next time. And if this follows the same pattern as last side quest hell, I'm going to get my ass absolutely handed to me by a boss at the end of it. Oh, hello. Fantastic. I, I am glad to hear such rousing words of support from my friends. Well, come on, we'll be here for you. I mean, assuming I'll be here for your next stream. Yeah, when is next stream? Let's see. Tomorrow? I will not be there next week. I'm week. free, same bat time tomorrow. <laughs> same bat uh-huh. time, same bat channel. <laughs> I'm all yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm assuming no, I'll, I'll miss out on that, but I'm can, also but, free yeah. all day uh on Wednesday and Thursday. Let's see. Uh Thursday. I took Wednesday I took Thursday off for my birthday and then like nobody could do anything on my birthday, so I'm just home alone all day. Oh uh, right. I'm sorry, man. So Thursday. Let me check. Actually, uh, it's yeah, fine. I'll I'm just booked. play video games. I mean, yeah, I'm rude. booked Tuesday and Thursday. I close at work. Wednesday, I could do. Let's see. Wednesday, I could do. I have tomorrow and Wednesday off. Thursday, I work three to eleven. Okay, so I guess it depends on. Well, next stream is just side quest hell, so it's not like you'd be missing much. That's true. No. I mean, other than a couple cool missions there, but I mean, I can just rewatch uh, some. I'm not even sure if we'll finish all the side quests in a single part, to be honest. 
Wait, it's gonna be that long? Oh There's yeah, like yeah. This is where the most like this is where it, half the game. Side it it quests might be in. a part and a half to do all the side quests. Oh my god, that's kind of yeah, so, so yeah, I mean, I'm fine with you doing most of it tomorrow, and then we can catch back up on Wednesday. All right. That, um, I think Wednesday night I plan on going to see the Batman, but I'll see. Uh -oh. Okay. Every no, sure, no, have you that's seen fine. lots of the Batman? The, the Batman movie that just came out with Robert Pattinson. Pattinson? Really? People have been calling him that. Like uh, how they call Ben Affleck Batfleck kind of thing. Oh, see, I w I've never heard anyone call him that. I was about to believe you that that was actually his name. And it was going to be like, is that the reason they hired him? <laughs> no. No. His last name is Pattinson. Because his last name is Pattinson. That's why he got hired. Like the director for Amazing Spider-Man because his last name is Webb. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Webb. <laughs> Tell me that's not how he got the job. I I, I mean, will not fair, believe was... you if that's not how he got the job. I mean, to be fair, I did chuckle a little bit when I found out that his la that was actually his last name. Like I I don't have beef with the I Amazing Spider-Man movies. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's movies. the reason they hired Doug Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> or the that's hacker guy. Like, was no like. Which one? Because there's like a guy who works there that his name is Bowser, and then a hacker that just got arrested recently that's also named Bowser. Yeah, Doug like, Bowser is the head of Nintendo of America, if I recall correctly. After, yeah. Uh, Reggie. Retired. Yeah, and then the guy who's been hacking Nintendo the last few years and got arrested, his name was also Bowser. So. If I had a nickel for every time, <laughs> I'd have two nickels. It's all odd, but it's strange that it happened twice. And it's like, what are the odds?